What materials are 3D printed houses made of? 3D printed houses are surprisingly less expensive than traditional houses. Given the level of technology involved in their construction, you'd think the prices would be out the roof, but no. Besides being amazed by that, again, you may ask, what are the houses made of though? Are they like regular concrete or brick houses? Or are they constructed with more high-tech material? Well, let's find out. The type of materials used in the construction of 3D printed houses must be suitable for the design specifications and workable. Depending on the purpose of the building and even the particular printer being used for the construction. To really understand how that works, let's take a look at some 3D printed houses and the materials that were used for their construction. 1. Windsun Wave Buildings, China Windsun initially started as a building materials supplier in China, and they eventually developed their own 3D printers for large-scale printing of building components. Windsun literally came in like a breaking wave when they printed 10 houses within just 24 hours. Sure, 3D printing dramatically reduces construction time. That number of buildings in that short amount of time was truly impressive. For them, the components of the buildings are usually printed in a factory elsewhere and then transported to the construction site for assembly. This method of construction allows that super fast and efficient printing that they debuted. But what materials do they actually use to print their components? Concrete, made up of the traditional cement and sand, but with fibers and other additives included in the mix. The additives make their mix more workable and the entire thing is designed to produce zero waste and be environmentally friendly. Their 3D printer has a 120 by 40 by 20 base frame for reference. 2. A Beast Core Residential Home, Russia Now, whilst this building was constructed in Russia, a Beast Core itself is based in San Francisco. The startup is focused on developing mobile construction 3D printers, and their concrete printers use material extrusion tech. Of course, they also have their own variation of a concrete mix, and it is made up of cement, sand, geopolymers, and fibers. The mix is prepared by throwing all the raw materials into a hopper. When the mix is ready, it's fed to the extruder via a pump system, and the extruder deposits the mix as needed to print the structural components. In this particular building in Russia, a small gap was left between the walls on purpose and reinforced with fiberglass and sprayed with a polyurethane-based mixture to serve as insulation. After the printing was done, the printer was removed with the help of a crane and install windows, a roof, and other appliances were. The entire process took only 24 hours to complete, and that time could definitely be shortened eventually. The 3D printer itself has an independent robotic arm that does the actual printing on-site, unlike Winsun where the components are printed elsewhere and rather assembled on site. 3. The Wasp Gaia, Italy The Gaia is the first 3D printed house that was constructed using materials already available in nature. The goal of Wasp is to use locally available materials to 3D print sustainable shelters at a relatively low cost. The Gaia was made with locally sourced materials and is eco-sustainable. The material mix they used was made up of about 10% hydraulic lime, 25% soil, 25% rice husk, and 40% straw chopped rice, all mixed in a wet pan for homogeneity and workability. This mix is quite different from the previous two concrete-based mixes. Gaia is essentially a 3D printed mud house. The main wall was first printed and then finished with clay lamina, then smoothing with linseed oil. The WASP 3D printer also uses extrusion technology to print, but their process is one of the unique ones. 3D printing already has a good impact on the environment, but using locally sourced materials just makes it all more accessible and good for the environment. 4. Tivasta, India India's housing and sanitation woes are quite imposing, and Tivasta is searching for a way to rise to the challenge. Their goal is to provide affordable quality housing and help to improve sanitation, especially in the more remote parts of the country. Recently, Tivasta unveiled their first 3D printed building, which was just a simple room. But don't be deceived, their structure has some pretty unique features that other researchers and developers had had difficulty achieving. Tivasta partnered with IIT 
to develop a special concrete mix for large-scale 3D printing. Their mix is very similar to ordinary cement but has lower water content and is reinforced with either amorphous metal fibers or plastic based on a specific purpose. Tvast's material mix has high strength due to their special tweaks, as well as the fact that their printers can print with aggregates measuring up to 8 mm. To construct the room, 12 mm rebars were used at all four corners to anchor the structure. The rebars were also used in the hollow parts of the walls to increase the tensile strength, and the vertical joints also had textile reinforcements. In order not to damage the walls when installing plumb in wiring. 5. Build in on demand, Copenhagen. This European startup aims to automate the construction process through 3D printing completely and thus change the entire industry. The building on demand was the first 3D printed building in Europe, and it was constructed by this company in 2017. The BOD has a rather interesting shape, and the only straight elements in it are the windows and doors. Now, Let's take a closer look to see what exactly their material mix is made up of. Honestly, it's the basic concrete, but with a twist. In partnership with Force Technology, they developed a strong concrete mix that was also a sustainable addition, since it was made with recycled materials. The mix delivery system consists of a mixing pump where the dry material and water are added to create the concrete. One thing about the 3D printer used here is that it also doubles as a crane on site and was used to place certain elements on the building as needed. This application was quite interesting as it showed that 3D printers could possibly have a wider application or multifunctionality. Not just 3D printing. 3D printed houses can actually be made with various building materials, as the WASP demonstrated when they constructed the Gaia with locally sourced rice and soil. The type of material used will mostly depend on the location and the weather of the environs, as well as the 3D printer itself. Most 3D printed houses use some sort of concrete mix with additives for more effortless workability and structural integrity. Mostly, the reduced construction time accounts for the lower house prices more than the building materials themselves. We hope you found the video informative and entertaining as well. If you liked the video, please, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this.